Okay, this first part that we're going to work on is actually going to be our cameras. We're going to take a look at basically the uh, the camera distances. We're going to kind of describe in cinematography uh, what camera shots are. Uh, we'll look at camera heights. We'll look at camera uh, the vertical horizontal sides of it. Uh, th this is really just an introductory type um, lesson to really get you up to speed on uh, the expectations of setting up shots for uh, for video games, for comics, for storyboards, for video. Um, any of those, they're all going to um, pull from the same thing, and it's going to be what we're going to look at and talk about. So first off, we're going to kind of describe the, uh, the different types of shots. Our first shot is our wide shot. Now, the wide shot, this is basically, um, if one of the things you'll notice is that we're going to stick with the same border size, so we're going to assume a, a particular ratio size and then just go with it. But the first thing just to kind of look at is that when we talk about a wide shot, we're talking about something that's far enough out that you can actually like see the, if, if you can kind of make this out from my scribbles, um, this is the superhero in the scene. And then it's far enough out, far enough wide that you can actually make out the environment around the character as well. So it really helps to kind of convey everything about the scene. Now our next one we're going to look at is basically a wide shot, but it's a little bit closer up. So if you notice, we still see the character, we still see the scene and the environment, but we do have to do a little bit more, um, uh, I guess you could say, making up on our own of uh, the environment further around him. But the, this, this shot is really nice because it comes in close enough that you're actually able to make out the character, the position. Uh, if we wanted, we could have even put an expression on him and you probably would you would be able to see it from this distance. All right. Now the next shot we have is a medium wide shot. Now a medium wide shot is pulling in close enough that you're actually just able to see the character himself. And uh, typically you'll notice that the character uh, gets framed, it gets cut a little bit closer. So you see about half the character through here. Now this one, great, because when you look at from the upper body side of it, you can do a lot of defining on the features of the character. You can do a lot of expression through the character and portray what it is you're trying to uh, to establish from it and try, uh, trying to tell. Now the other one that we have is also just a medium shot. So instead of just the medium wide shot, the medium shot actually pulls in really close. You're looking at more like a bust of a character, so you're going from the chest up. And again, this is going to be another one of those where it just leads you in closer to the character's facial expressions. We have another one that's going to be a close-up shot. Now, a close-up shot, there's kind of a different, you know, like I would think of a close-up shot, and then what we're going to look at it in a second is an extreme close-up shot. The, uh, the close-up shot goes in close enough just to the face so that you're seeing the character's face and then probably a little bit of the shoulders. And uh, the, the main thing is that you can clearly see the, uh, the character's expression. Uh, it's, it's not difficult to make out, and the lack of environment behind it makes it easier to uh, to recognize the focus, which is just on the character. And our next one that we have for the final one on this part is going to be an extreme close-up shot. Now notice, you know, extreme close-up shot, I mean, by this, I mean, we're looking at a character who's very close up on the, uh, the camera. We've basically chosen one part. Oftentimes you'll notice uh, close-up shots will do something like focus in on just the face, or they'll focus in on just the ear if they're hearing something, and, uh, and, and just show that one body part or one element. Um, for us, you know, I, I just made a, a, he decided to open his mouth and he has no tooth right there. Um, so this type is an extreme close-up. So again, let's running through these real fast again. Um, noticing the, uh, the wide shot showing everything, zooming in closer to the character just through the, uh, more of the character's uh, full body shot, less the environment. Then through here, we're looking at a, uh, a waist up, possibly a leg up, but usually about a waist up. And then from here is a chest up shoulder to head and then zoom in on a particular part all right so when you get into design when we start looking at the when we start looking at layouts one of the things you want to keep in mind are your options for your camera shots now, you want to establish these shots you don't want to just say well you know I'll move the camera to here what you actually want like when you're when we start doing storyboarding you want to actually think about um, where is the camera actually going now the cameras the the person the viewers eyes and you want to make that the most uh, smoothest translation between shots, but you also want to make it the most interesting and well established. That way, you don't lose the viewer. So we're we're basically establishing our shots. Now these these kinds of shots this uh, translates all all media, uh, everything from movies to uh, to games to TV commercials to television, uh, anything uh, that relates to a camera position to telling a story. 
you're typically you're typically going to be thinking about this type of an angle or these types of angles uh, in terms of distances for the camera.